Let's take it slow Where you go, I go to And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it Good day, I'm Charlie Pride. And I'm Jennifer Pride. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Pride of the Villages. So this is a continuation of our series of videos on our trip to Costa Rica. This video will highlight our two-night stay at the Marriott Los Buenos Resort and visit to the Manuel Antonio National Park. The Los Buenos Marriott Ocean and Golf Resort is one of the most stunning hotels in Playa Aradura, Costa Rica. As our bus approaches the resort, we drive by the La Iguana Golf Course, a 18-hole par 72 championship course recognized as one of the best golf courses in Costa Rica. Surrounded by the rainforest canopies of Costa Rica's green coast, this resort sits on the Pacific Ocean's Aradura Bay. It is a 201-room hotel within the Las Buenas Resort and Marina community. The sprawling pool complex is the star of the hotel, and where our tour group spent the afternoon during our day of arrival. Jennifer and I decided to explore the pools as well. Let's take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it Take it slow, where you go, I go to. And if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow, who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me. Let's take it Besides the pool complex, there's a wide brown sand beach that fronts the property on the bay. Walking south down the shoreline, you will find a variety of wading birds, and fortunately for us, our first close-up encounter with scarlet macaws. Oh, 
Besides the pool and beach, the resort has a fitness room, spa, meeting rooms, and hosts special occasions such as this wedding. Looking to get that panoramic picture of the resort? Go up to the fourth floor and the stairwell to this tower. There are several chairs stationed there to watch great sunsets. On site, there are several dining establishments to include this beachside restaurant specializing in Mediterranean cuisine. We had our tour group dinner at the resort's signature restaurant, Hacienda Kitchen, that specializes in the traditional flavors of Costa Rica. The food was so good at the restaurant on the first night that we decided to visit the Hacienda Kitchen by ourselves on the second night. Additionally, this is where we would have breakfast in the morning, buffet style, as it was included in our tour package. Jennifer and I agree that this was the best breakfast spread of all the hotels on our 12-day tour. Just do not leave your breakfast plate unguarded, as there are a lot of birds looking for an opening to enjoy breakfast themselves. Now next door to the hotel and within the marina complex, there are several other restaurants. It is an easy walk over the creek on a footbridge and then through this fine tunnel. The quantity and size of the sport fishing boats in the marina will tell you that this is one of the best marlin fisheries in Central America and it does label itself as the billfish capital of the world. We did not eat any meals at the marina, but we did stop in for an after dinner gelato and would recommend the chocolate. What else? Our excursion while at the Marriott was to Manuel Antonio National Park. Manuel Antonio is the most visited of the 30 national parks in Costa Rica and is located just a three-hour drive from the capital city of San Jose. For us, it was even easier being one and a half hours from the hotel. Along the road, we passed massive plantations of African palms. These palm fruits yield palm oils that are used in the production of cosmetics, candles, soaps, and lubricants. Palm oil is one of the largest agricultural industries in Costa Rica. Soon, we start to see the tourist infrastructure bordering the national park to include a variety of lodging, restaurants, and stores. White sand beaches and the waves of the Pacific Ocean also come into view, and this is obviously a popular location for San Jose residents on the weekends. Upon arrival at Manuel Antonio, we leave our bus for a short walk to the park entrance. We have already been briefed by our tour guide on the restrictions of visiting the park. To include no outside food is allowed, and drinks must be in refillable containers, no plastic bottles. Your bags are checked as you enter the park. Like I said, this is the most visited park, so expect it to be crowded. Although the land area of Manuel Antonio is only seven and three quarters square miles, it contains 109 species of mammals and 184 species of birds. There is a diversity of plant and wildlife in the park, but I think the crowds of people keep the animals off the paths or at least high in the trees, especially the sloths. The one animal exception was this white-nosed Kuta Monday, who did not mind a group of people taking its picture. We call it in Spanish. When you see, when you see a guy like this, by itself, a big attraction at Manuel Antonio is its beautiful beaches. White sand and gentle waves was certainly inviting to swimmers. Beach area is also where the white-faced capuchin monkeys like to hang out, so watch your belongings. They are the primary reason why food is no longer allowed in the park. Just up the hill from the beach, there are changing rooms available. However, those can get a long line for use. Jennifer and I did not go swimming, but instead explored several of the hiking trails in the park. In all, it was a very nice day at Manuel Antonio, although we found the wildlife viewing less dynamic than our trip to Tortuguero National Park. So that's a wrap on this video where we covered the Marriott Resort in Los Buenos and also the trip to Manuel Antonio National Park. In our next adventure, we traveled to the Tarcolas River and board a boat for a river safari. Not only is this river known for its outstanding bird viewing, but the Tarcolas has the largest concentration of crocodiles in Costa Rica, with some reaching 16 feet in length and weighing 1,200 pounds. 
Some of the largest of them have names, such as Mike Tyson and Captain Hook. We will have that adventure video out next weekend.